Okay, so the balcony is officially open. Wow, I just picked it up. I must have done the windows. He dropped it to get that. This hurts the feet. They redid that and they redid that. And so this is the balcony. Um, so it's like I'm at the wall and it goes that far. So there are plans for moving that stuff there um, and putting a uh, table with some chairs. Um, there's tempered glass now. So It's still not done construction of the building, but they're done our side, so we get access. You can see the construction stuff. Okay, so this is our seating area right now, though. We were using these as fireside chairs for the whole time that the construction was going on, but this is, um, I bought this today. Um, miniature ro red roses. Lovely. Look at that, eh? I hope they don't die. <laughs> we gotta clean up this stuff. We gotta clean it up and, um, you know, but, uh, we just got it and we'll prune it and keep it, um, nice. I, I would love to grow these. Well, I have plans. I'd love to, um, this my this would be where my husband would sit, but, um, I have plans to um, um, maybe maybe grow these on some sort of trestle or something and decorate, you know, I want more plants. I want plants and um, some herbs maybe, you know, dill and parsley. So the balcony is where I really like getting, watching thunderstorms. And we get the sunrise view, so that can be pretty. I'm learning to appreciate it. I wasn't at first liking the color of the building because the, there's a matching one in that shares this lot. But um, now I'm appreciating the color, and I'm thinking, um, having been to Florence, that Italy, this reminds me of it. And I'm thinking we could do, you know, when we put a bistro set, but not a I don't want a hard chair, I want like a, a, a nice tabletop and, and um, stuff, but I, I was thinking we could um, do something here and I, I would like to have not plants on the wall because, um, but I wouldn't mind having something that goes out so that we can have um, a wind chime. Um, Look how big this is, a big balcony. I mean, that's what you get when you live in a small town and you pay um, what's expensive rent in a small town. But, oh, I just noticed that, um, that I can see my neighbor in the glass, so that means he can see me and I'm in my nightgown, so I better go inside. But anyway, that, see? I hope I don't drop my phone. See, they're, they're still doing the rest of the building. Bye, neighbor! I don't know if he heard me. He just went, huh? <laughs> I feel embarrassed now. Let's close all the doors. See, they're, they're disgusting because, um, well, we had construction done, so. Look at my classy disco ball I had in my apartment. So, yeah, this place is a mess right now. This is our couch, but we had a matching love seat and gave it. I gave it my it away. It, it was what I declared as mine, because we both paid half for all the furniture. So this is Miss Kitty Meow. Yeah, you know your name. Actually, she's Medusa, Miss Kitty Meow. Miss no, she was Medusa, and then she was Miss Kitty, Miss Kitty Meow, Meow Meow, and now she's Meowza Meow. She keeps changing names because she has, like, multiple personalities. No, she's a bit neurotic and 
probably does have a personality disorder from trauma. So I relate to her quite a bit. Um, but she, even though she never played with lions, she was sad when he went. She uh, cried all night several times and she started having um, a, like abandonment issue reaction. And then, um, yeah, Lion's gone and I'm sad. That shelf, my dad brought that over on my birthday and it's, look at my fat fingers. See, I really don't want to show myself right now. I'm so fat. Um, it's cluttering my BBC wall, but it's so great to see have my husband have his collection out. So then there's some stuff from Italy. Um, yeah, <laughs> my decor. This is a mess right now. Just ignore it. But that's our, that's, that would be mine if we ever, you know, that, that's got the games in it. Um, and it's very messy and stuff. And then tea and a mess. Everything's a mess. But I do like our clock. I picked that clock out. Um, then we have, and it says Paris on it. And I've got this obsession with thinking about going to Paris. But I also want to go back to Venice. I really want to go back to Venice. We went to Venice in November. And I would go back there in a heartbeat. Paris and Venice. And I have a friend who's in Morocco right now, which isn't far from Paris by flight. So that might be something I might do someday. And then there's my old beaches photo, which, you know, kind of goes with that candle thing. Um, this is, this is a painting that belonged to my husband's grandmother and the family gave it to my husband. And, um, Actually, it goes really well with our, we're into the wood stuff, you know, this is a table we put together and, um, you know, we like wood. Here is where a shelf for my vinyl is going to go because I have an extensive vinyl collection. Well, not extensive, but I have a lot of vinyl. That's the postcard wall because I like postcards and that went up. Right, pretty much right after we moved here. <laughs> um, the fireplace needs fireside chairs that so will go here. This is where we kept the patio chairs for a while um, when the construction was being done. And it was great, and I miss them. So we're going to get, like, obviously, armchair. This is a plant I bought today as well. It's the miniature roses. My husband jokes. And says it should be called Robert, but we get it, Robert Plant. But, um, oh, my fat fingers. But I, I don't know. I think Plant is a great name. So it's beautiful. So beautiful. This is a mask he bought in Venice. I used to in the self portrait. It's kind of creepy. This is a beautiful blown up photo of my granny pulling in. Gordon, her husband, and this was them in Sudbury. And isn't she gorgeous? Just gorgeous. And these candles, my Aunt Sue gave me these, and they're just gorgeous. Uh, corks from Italy. And this is from Sorrento. I bought this in Sorrento, Italy. Italian. This is my wedding band, and my engagement ring that to go with it and um my husband wears his ring but I my fingers got too fat right now too fat my cassette collection <laughs> yeah we gotta get my there this is some vinyl right there that I bought last year for my birthday my wee board that I need to use um so it's a mess but this is the apartment right my bike shouldn't be there but I've started to ride it and um feel embarrassed to show this but this is going to have this wall is going to be his area and it's going to be a full big shelf and Bill Murray who looks awesome is going to be moved here instead so he'll be here instead which will be great because then when um, friends and I are playing cards against humanity or having uh, meals or whatever at the table we can look and see Bill Murray and that is an exercise bike my dad just got me but you can see Bill Murray in our horrible kitchen See, it's an apartment, so, but there's Bill Murray, Ghostbusters. 
so yeah mess 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 um bedroom that is also a mess yeah yeah yay that's a bamboo set though um it's really nice there's even a tall boy cabinet and i'm not gonna show you it all because i'm embarrassed about clothes i've got on top of the dresser but we got to do something with the bedroom like something nice and you know and this is my room which is also a mess but i want new shelves so that's a shelves is a big thing this is my computer area so i'm gonna type on the acer this is another postcard thing recently done see isn't that nice it's a um but it included is a lot of unused postcards for once that are from the travels in Italy, Como and Florence and Capri and uh, Venice and this is from when we saw David and then that's from one of the, that's from actually this place where I got it and uh, then my beaches. But yeah, my books and all that which like I said I want, I want to redo, I want shelves, I, I want to grow up a bit. I want to, I'll probably only keep that shelf and the rest, you know, I'll give mom dibs on it and you can see the Doctor Who stuff. Yeah, my, my poor, um, well, you can't even see. Never mind. I was going to see my, uh, my vinyls down in there. Um, currently reading this, volume six. Can't stop reading her. I've got a to be read pile of this, 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 and this. Also this. Um, I want to read more Alice Munro. And I could read that. Um, I want to read this. I want to read a lot of stuff. So, anyway. Um, how am I doing? Well, oh, there's more to be read. These as well. This, this, let's focus. There we go. Yeah. So, I love, like, this is why I need full out shelves going across, you know, and across that all match. Because it will, like, obviously I got really creative there for my zines. I mean... That just not gonna cut it. As you can see, I kind of like Doctor Who. Um, yeah, and this is my hidden corner of my hidden. I I've got issues corner, um, but that's okay. Um, oh, this is a book I really want to and read and enjoy. Look at that. I mean, you can find letters of note on Twitter and. Oh, I can't wait, you know. Uh, I recommend this. I bought this quite a while ago. Um, and this, I also got through Twitter, like, found it because of Twitter. Olivia Desha writes the most awesome Twitter tweets, you know. And But this um, is an anthology of fragmentary writing. And I'm thinking, wow, like, fragmentary writing. I totally get that. It's uh, I recommend... Uh, anybody looking that up, it's like, um, you know, little bits, little bits. It's just really awesome. One of the best reads I read. Best reads I read. This is a pen I bought before we ever went to Italy. Um, before it became a reality. I bought it in Toronto. I love Van Gogh. Starry Night. And, um, Turns out it was from Florence. So, um, I've never used it. I hope it will work when it. My Alice in Wonderland shelf. I actually have one more Alice cup, but I'm using it. Oh, uh, isn't this beautiful? The tea set. And this is from when I received Valentine's flowers years ago, but it just goes with the girliness of it. I thought the pearls did too. Well, they're not. I don't, I don't know. I don't. They're, they're nice. Um, Okay, yeah, this is a mess, but I have vision. I know I want to do stuff. I also need, I need to get a magnet board 
like a big thing that like I would love to be able to put the magnet board on here like these doors can slide and switch places and I'd love a magnet board and then I can play with the poetry word I mean the, the magnetized words and ma make poetry that way um, because I've got great kits so far but I can't do it until um you know I get a magnetized board that's a softer world comic I recommend it these are my um, blank journals that I have to use. This is the one I'm still currently trying to write in. It's from Venice. Button San Marco Square, the other book I'm currently reading. Um, the camera that I use to take photos. Um, the one I used for the longest time to take photos and videos. more books I want to read. I want to read this one. And I think there are some plays here that I want to read. I was learning Italian before our trip, but now I want to le learn French again. I used to be fluent. And these are a couple more books I would like to read. Um, what's this? Oh, can't show you that. I'm sorry. See, like, there's some things that, that need to be beautifully displayed that just aren't. So, these shelves are going to then there's paperwork, right? There's my casework from WSIB. That's my file. And ongoing, like even on top. And then there's some letters from people over the years. More letters. And then, yeah. Like, this is junky. That needs to go. It had other stuff. And my chair, I decided to sit on it so that I wouldn't see it where lying used to sit. And so I'm a little heartbroken. Um, I don't want to, I'm sorry about the mess. Um, I miss wearing my Doctor Who bag. You can tell I like the Lord of the Rings. Look at this beautiful edition. My father gave it to me on my 16th birthday. I just turned 36 on July 25th. So, this book is 20 years old. It's beautiful. The illustrations by Alan Lee. And my husband's currently reading this series, the Hunger Games series, which I need to read. And uh, this, yeah, this isn't going to stay this way. Like, this is a mess, right? But, um, um, yeah. Uh, so, I'm afraid to turn this around. Yeah, it's so empty without lion. Miss Kitty Meow loves that, though. She is such a fan of this little thing here. Um, and that's her mousy. She, um, she likes to lay in that and be petted. She's being really quiet. I'm glad she's calmed down. Look at the mess, though. That nice side table is being used by my husband just put stuff on right now. And it's such a great table. It needs to be used better. And my room needs to be decluttered and... Like I said, this wall needs to be redone, but then we'll get it all done. I hate that their exercise bike is there because it does not go with my vision of the... You're like, what vision? This place is chaotic. But, I mean, you know, it's just... But the exercise bike is a necessary evil. I can't wait for the Doctor Who to start. And then, of course, you've got Sherlock. Um, my husband has the, the Blu-rays. And I have the DVDs. Because I, I have a DVD. Buffy. I mean, a man after my own heart with that. Hmm. Just showing you things sounds really... <sighs> this is my husband's Harry Potter stuff. We like Back to the Future. So you've got my DVD and his Blu-ray. But we need better shelves for it. I believe you have my stapler. I believe you have my stapler. Anyway. Um, I've had this a long time. It was my dad's and he let me have it. And uh, I think older folk will remember this. And yes, I have the Les Crane 
recording on vinyl from when I was a kid and I even downloaded it on iTunes as well so uh, yeah um, but yeah August 1st I'm okay um, I've uh, dare I I, I've, I'm afraid to show my face because I'm so fat right now. Oh, Walking Dead. Oh my goodness, can't wait. I, and you know what? I am afraid to read these because I know it's different from the story. But I don't know how that will make me feel because I watched, I've watched the show since the beginning. I, I'm going to give it a try soon. I just, I'm reading other stuff right now. Um... I've got to write today, like I want to write 750 words every day, hopefully, and I want to do another bicycle photo adventure. I did one on the 25th of July um, for my birthday. I made a voice post where I talk about my birthday, and um, I've been dealing with grief because of losing Lion, so, um, like, um... June 30th was when we put him, or when we let him go, when we said goodbye, when we took him to the vet and <sighs> said goodbye, and, um, um, it's not easy yet, it's not easier yet, so, um, it's not gonna be probably 14 years with him, you know? And here are some tokens from the TTC that you can't see now, it's in the dark. But anyway, I'm going to go back to what i got to do. Um, I'll try to vlog every day and maybe I'll show, well, I'll, I'll try to get out and show places. And um, I will also try to uh, maybe show my face when I'm not feeling so gross. I do have to lose weight for preparing for surgery. So... You know, I gotta step up my game. I have no game. And, um... But, it'd be neat if I could vlog every day in August. Or not. Maybe it'd be monotonous and terrible. Especially if I did it this long. But... Wish me luck. And, uh... Look at my old diaries and journals. See, I used to write much, much more consistently. That's packed. I can't fit any more in there. Um, anyway, uh, hopefully I can find my voice both in my writing and with my, continue it with my photography exploits and adventures and hopefully I can, um, uh, declutter some more, <laughs> yeah. But hopefully I can, um, get healthier, get through this morning period, and, um, yeah. So, work to do, but trying. Look at that, too. Look how beautiful that. Anyway. I, I better go. Like, stuff is stuff, right? I was... This... This... <laughs> Papa Francesco... When I am religious, but... I am... Um, I love the, uh... Mmm. Smell these. They're great. Mmm. Mmm. I smell them all the time. I don't actually... Do anything else with them. But smell them. I sniffed them before I used the landline. It calms me down. And this is some jewelry from Venice. That's the lotion I use. Aloe vera. It's my skin. Um, this also is from Venice. No, Lake Como. Como in the city, the old city, the first night. <laughs> I bought that, and, um, and this amber thing. Okay, well, um, I've shown you enough junk. 
Um, hopefully I can show a difference in, um, you know. Oh, this here is a wish thing. The, we have some plans to possibly, um, you know, even though I really want to go to Paris and I want to go Paris for the first time and I want to go back to Venice, um, this is on the, in our thoughts. So these are, we'll deal with the same company, but probably not do tours this time. And we'll, um, we're going to look through these and make like a vision board or a wish, wish thing. So maybe, um, there are a lot of terrible things happening in the world right now and it's kind of depressing and hard to uh, think about. So put stuff in perspective all the time. Always it feels like my life has to be put into perspective, but meow meow. Miss Kitty meow. It's it's hard because I miss my cuddle cat, right? But meow meow. She's tired. Okay. Well, bye for now, eh? Thanks for watching. Terrified of vlogging right now because of all the weight I gained. So we're just gonna wrap around my triple face right now. So you can see from like the rest of me that I'm really big right now. Hormonal stuff and probably too much food, not enough exercise. To... But, uh, but I think that's a good look for me. What do you think? My hair is uh, it's in a side ponytail. The white. I don't think I'm gonna dye my hair. I'm just gonna like grow long and scraggly white. But um, yeah, this is a look for me. Well, I hate being so self conscious because, like, I watch YouTube and there are some really much bigger women than me with great personalities. And beautiful like they're beautiful too but even the ones that aren't beautiful by society standards are like awesome to watch you know and then lots of people watch their videos and enjoy them but me I'm like oh my god I'm a heifer right now and I can't show myself I'll just right like here There, okay. Like, look now. I'm now I'm allowed to like look. I pretend I'm in the, in the '60s. Okay, so I'm crazy, but I have good reasons. Like, oh, look at that. It almost looks like I have straight hair. I don't know. Um, I have good reasons. Lion is dead. The lion cat. It's been. Um, just over a month, and I still have grief. Well, of course I do. I mean, it's not like you just get over it. So, his loss is deeply felt, and losing him made me feel like I lost Hagrid as well. Like I lost both my boys all over again because losing him meant I'd lost the last of a being that loved me unconditionally through a lot of stuff. You know, I know 14 years isn't a very long time, especially for an indoor cat, but time period, early 20s to before my 36th birthday, because my 36th birthday was July 25th, and he went on June 30th. Um, early 20s to 
early 20s to that, that's like three serious relationships, four or five, four or five moves, you know, um, multiple crushes and the whole WSIB thing. Um, just I don't want to talk about it. I'm starting to get like the pain in my chest um I get I get like bad panic and sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between the pain from grief or when it's provoked into oh anyway So I made this vlog um, with my iPhone. I suck at it, by the way. I'm really bad at it with this. Who needs a cleaner screen? I do, I do. Um, I have to learn how to do that. Um, I would use my camera, but it does such high quality HD that it's like really forever to, you know, so I'll probably use my XP, Fujifilm XP, which has that whistle sound. Um, I don't know. I'll do something. I'll try Vita vlog every day in August, but I'm not sure. I'm not very good at following through every day with something because emotionally something could cripple me and then, um, and then I, I'm done. I, you know, even when I've tried to do something, um, before I know it with my sleeping pattern, it's like after midnight and I've messed up for the day. And I know with Vita, it's okay to, I mean, some people are purists and you have to do it every single day on that day. But, um, big rap on blogger hab, vlogger habs, <laughs> vlogger heads is saying, as long as you have 31 videos by the end of the month, you're, you're okay. So I don't know. That's kind of, that's cool and relieves some pressure. But I would really like to vlog. It's a good form of expression and I really want to be expressing myself. I like photography. I like to write. I need to write more. And um, I would like to become comfortable with vlogging. Um, so um, I'm going to give this a try. And... Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't show my face on the video and that I showed you just a bunch of material crap on my um, video, but it sort of gives you an idea of where I live. Um, it is a two bedroom in an apartment building um, in a small city, like 30,000 people. And actually the building is pretty nice for this area. Um, and expensive for this area yet um so we're like we're not homeowners which I really don't want us to be because of all the costs that would it would just be we're gonna we're more minded toward travel and stuff but um but we're comfortable here and it's more about like I know material stuff doesn't matter but because I'm stuck in this town, I guess it's really important to me that the surroundings are better inside. So this is a refuge and good, comfortable abode. So I love all my books and stuff, but I do want better shelves, except the one that has all the poetry that is staying. That would belong to my grandfather, my dad's grandfather or something. Um, but I'm going to have proper matching shelves and I would love to do something I really want to get comfortable enough to do is booktube videos. Booktube is just like this thing where you make book review books and uh, share your books and love of books, talk about books on booktube. If you go back onto my YouTube channel, I used to talk about books a few times or at least favorite books way back when I was young. And so is that some red in my hair? Wow. No, it's just my freaking face. Anyway, um, 
so that's like a goal. I'd like to get comfortable enough to be eventually be able to make booktube videos, any type of videos that I want. Vlogging, talking about weight, like do I want to talk about it? Do I do I want to record weight loss? Do I want to ignore the issue and pretend that it's not like all consuming? Um so my other goal would be if I could write my paper journal every day, but I can't. Isn't this sad though? Like this here, I don't, you're not going to see it. It's like where you authorize, you know, euthanasia. I mean, I imagine obviously for human beings have had to do that, not euthanasia, but you know, pulling the plug as they say, and I can't imagine, well I can imagine, I can imagine how it feels to be like signing the paper that says, please kill this person or being because they are suffering and I don't want them to suffer anymore. I did not want to let him go. I held him in my arms, but I talked, I already did a, I did a blog post. I, I did a, um, voice post. I mean, if you want to hear about all that, you can go to my journal, goldmorn.livejournal.com, G-O-L-D-M-O-U-R-N, same screen name I have everywhere. And, um, you can find that post. I just... Anyway, I haven't been able to write. I started this on the 1st of January. Is it going to show? Oh, oh, it's good that it doesn't show it as my address and everything. But I haven't been able to write consistently. It's just not not happening. Um, this is already too long. So this has been quite a long video if I do combine it with the um, little house tour. Um, yeah, our kitchen, like, when we were picking out apartments here, like, we could have chosen a different apartment, um, that had a remodeled kitchen, plus, it, you, you could walk through it, like, it, it, you could walk, it was still small, but you could walk in it, oh, sorry guys, although that was probably a good thing, you could walk in it and, and out it another area, like, you know, it was a walk around or whatever they're called you know, opened up and, uh, but the living room was like really small and boxy. And, um, whereas the space we have right now is like open. And although it looks really barren now that we got the furniture back out on the patio, um, we do, we're going to have like comfortable, um, tall back, probably armchairs, you know, for book, for reading books in front of the fake fireplace. It's kind of a nice, it's a nice cozy concept and good for book lovers and just to chill and not be facing the television all the time. So it's a great space. I love the space. Um, I thought, like when I thought about moving back to Toronto, that we, for the, if we wanted a two bedroom again, um, like it's a thousand dollars more than what we're paying here for 300 square feet less, but it's Toronto, but I've already come to terms with all that. Um, I'm really starting. I'm not going to say that I love being back in my hometown and I'm not going to say that I don't miss Toronto, but I am going to say that I am accepting and I'm trying to embrace it here and um, try to see the good parts of being here and um, there's a lot of good things about being here and that will only get better once we have a vehicle that allows us to get out of town and to explore other places um, nearby. This is how I usually do my hair. I don't, I don't do my hair, but you know what I mean? I usually do this. I don't do that, but what I had going on. This is how I do it. This is how I do. Oh, right. 
natural air color. That's my natural. Coming out browns and some auburn. Um, but it's mostly gonna be this dull with like the white. Um anyway, I'm I'm gonna i I'm gonna just make this work. So uh I'm just gonna have I'm being demanding about how I wanna improve the um aestheticness of our apartment to make the most of it. This stuff doesn't matter because one day I'll be dead and nobody will care and all of it has to go somewhere. But I mean, and I will call through some of my books, but to me, my books bring enjoyment and my music brings enjoyment and all that stuff. So just pare it down to what you enjoy, surround yourself with it, and then also push yourself to go outside. That's what I'm telling myself. This was way too long. Time for the uh, TARDIS sticker to go back over the camera. It didn't work. Sort of does. This is actually a good experiment because I was thinking that I was protected. Huh. Where where does it work most? Ooh. Found it. See you guys.